Hi and welcome to the first consolation video tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we'll see how to set it up. We'll do a quick overview of the interface and introduce you to the basics of consolation scripting. So let's begin by setting you up. Uh, you're gonna need Unity 2017.3. Uh, be sure this version because uh, previous version won't work with Constellation. Then you can download constellation.unity package, which is available on constellationeditor.com slash download. Once everything is done, you can uh, create a new project. And uh, once it's created, you just have to double-click uh, the Unity package. It will uh, basically import all the constellation libraries. So when you have uh, everything set it, just open the Flappy Bird example. If you go into the Yoroshi and just take a look at PrefBird, you see it has a constellation behavior script attached to it and a script uh, called Bird. So we're gonna open the Bird script, go to constellation, editor, and just find the script, in example, flappy bird, script, bird. So here is the editor. Uh, it has a node uh, editor view, obviously. Uh, a node selection panel, so with a search bar. So if you are looking for a node, uh, just type the name of it and just click the node name you want to add to the constellation. Uh, up there we have a tabbar panel, uh, which uh, if you create a new constellation, will store uh, all the nodes uh, you opened. Now we are going to profile uh, the bird script. Uh, just put the constellation window so uh, somewhere it doesn't bother you. Select the bird prefab and uh, hit play. And as soon as the prefab is enabled, uh, you will see in real time uh, the values of the script, which is like very cool for debugging or uh, improving your script. Now we will create our first script. Uh, I'll open a new scene, create a new script, call it my first script or whatever name you wish and add a var node. So a var node has one yellow input, one orange input, and one yellow output. Uh, we will get back to that later, but uh, yellow means uh, cold, orange means warm. Uh, if you right click on an input or output, it will show you a little description of what it does. Uh, you'll see there is a little work question mark on the variable. Uh, just click on it and it will show you an example of what it does. Now I'm going to show you the difference between cold and warm. Um, for that, I'm going to add the value to our var and a print node to display into Unity console what we are outputting. Uh, I'm going to open the console and to profile that, I'm going to create a new game object, add the constellation behavior script, and add my first script to the script field. Uh, when all of this is set up, uh, just hit play with the game object uh, you just created selected. And if you move uh, the value attribute, you'll see the var um, value is changing, but nothing appears into the console. What's going on here is that we are telling the value to set the var, but we are not telling the var to output anything. What we can do to fix that is just telling the var to push uh, its value when the value is updated. And now you see that 
uh, values are printed. Now what we are going to do is making the script a bit more interactive. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, making it react to a key phrase. Add your key and plug it into the warm input of the var. Now hit play and that the console is, press, uh, is printing 2.32 into the console when I press a key. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Um, if you wish uh, to explore a bit more, uh, I suggest just try to add notes and just try to uh, hit a little question mark on it. Uh, there is a lot of uh, documentation or uh, example explaining how you could use it and uh, yeah.